I'm really enjoying these mod reviews that I got into and I figured out Forge Chicken, you can go away. Um, I got some a couple mods installed that said the one I'm reviewing. We have the damage indicator mod on, which is this right here. Um, and I am going to be reviewing the mutant creatures mod today. So let's get straight into it. I have everything set up here and we're going to be battling them. So great. Yeah, okay. So, the main thing about this mod is Chemical X. To make it, you just surround a water bottle with some Lucivian. And then mix lots of these. Basically, um, if a, mod is, if a mob is compatible with a mutant, then it has a 50-50 chance of making it a mutant or killing the mob. So, I have some creepers here we're going to test this on. He's freaking out. Uh... <laughs> He is a compatible mob, so it could randomly, uh, you know. Oh, well now he's a kind of a mutant. Oh, baby minions! Yeah, he sends out these little dudes who are like uh, utterly uh, deadly. Um, come on the creative mode, and I have everything set up here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna grab some supplies real quick. And we're gonna battle this dude. So I got I got pretty much everything and of course um before we get into that, let's get into this. So yeah. This is not this is like totally not planned. This is totally planned by the way. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so these are all the mobs that mobs that are compatible with it. We have a zombie and his mutant drops a Hulk hammer, I'll show you when I kill him. We have the mutant skeleton, which drops body parts, and I'll show you guys some of that. The creeper, which is that thing over there. Um, some of the things it uses, it drops an egg. I'll get into that. Um, the creeper shards are also, and the creeper status are also with the creeper mom. We got an enderman, which uh, is the ender soul hand. So uh, the reason why I have him the button there, because well, we need to show that. And then we have the mutant snow golem. Basically, he heals by uh, snowballs, and he drops snowballs on death. But, yep, they're all affected by the chemical X, by the way. So, yeah, let's uh, hop straight into survival. Let's do this! Um, by the way, the mutant creeper is, um, he gets healed by explosions, so be careful, by the way. Yeah, I know. Oh, I killed him. Uh, when the uh, mutant creeper is about to die, they start sucking you in, and then explosion. Yeah, kind of a mess. Ugh, stupid. More minions! Okay, let me just uh, reorganize this. Uh, this is kind of a mess now. Uh, this was not planned. I think I lost the... Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is not very organized, anyway. Um, yeah, that was that. Um, so we're gonna battle all the mutants. So let's get straight to it. Um, we already fought the creeper. Um, see if we can get the egg. Is the egg here? No egg, sadly. We didn't get any of the, uh, mutant egg. We didn't get the mutant creeper's egg. Great! Um, it doesn't matter how moths fighting off, so we're okay. I'm so, doing this at night. Um, so, I, I guess I'll just battle everything one. So, I want to get, let's get some neat and snow golems. Like, let's do that. Like, snowballs, thank you. So, let's get a little neat and snowball, snowball, dude. Yeah. There we go. He does me. Okay, that's it. You tame him with snowballs, by the way. Um, let's see, which one we're going to fight first? Let's go, let's go with the skeleton. By the way, they're, um, they're like snow golems, but they throw chunks of ice, which do up to six a damage. It, it's pretty, it's pretty insane. So, it's skeleton. Yeah. So, his, some of his attacks are, uh, well, the bow, obviously. 
Um, and then, like, his ribcage kind of attack, like, right that. Um, another one is, I believe, throwing. Uh, like, I, I mean, I can't really explain. I'm hitting you with the bow. He's just dead. Oh! That was good. Um, yeah. The cre Union Creeper. Let's get into that. Um, okay, now, before I get into the Union Creeper, by the way, I do need some help. Yes, do it. Uh, there you go. Um, so after you're killing the mutant skeleton, you, they drop body parts, which you can right click and you basically collect them. Um, you need to collect, collect every single one, and then we're gonna come over here to these crafting grids. And yeah, I wanna start with the mutant creeper, and then yeah. So I wanna do the mutant skeleton, then I'm going to the creeper, okay? So the mutant, so there's armor sets for the mutant skeleton. Basic, it's pretty good, let's just take off my armor here. Chicken. Um, so the um head, the helmet is the skull, which I got right here. Boy, do I look beautiful. Um, now this is the chest plate. Now to craft the skeleton arms and rib cage, the rib cage is some skeleton ribs like this, and then the arms are this up like the okay chicken. I just want chicken. Okay, anyway, next thing we have the leggings, which is how you make it with a pelvis. It's kind of nasty. Then we got the um, shoes. Yep, got me some shoes. So let's go ahead and craft some. Let's go ahead and craft these up, and then we're gonna wear them. There we go. Do 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 do. So you got uh, speed two and jump boost with it. Oh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I have to say, um, pretty good armor. I would. Recommend using this, and it looks like it gives you um the generation. No, that or I ate a god apple. I don't know. I think I ate a god apple. That uh, this frozen you. Um, so that's the uh, armor for it. Now let's get into the creeper stuff. Right here we have the creeper status. This is how you make it, and this is basically um the little creeper egg they have over here. Um. So basically, you right click the creeper egg after killing a mutant creeper. This happens. Um, it takes three to five Minecraft days for this little creature to grow into a minion of your choice. And the status thing over here is allows you to edit it and stuff like that. But if you were to break the egg before it's about to hatch, it occasionally drops a shard with no um with no you with, with the on charge. So and basically it does that. Yeah. Um, to charge it up is very simple. Um, you, it says to kill mobs with it, and it uh, charges it up. And then I, at full charge rate, it explodes on it when you right-click it. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So, uh, by the way, the way to speed up this process uh, is to explode the egg, give it like some explosion damage. We'll make the um make this go faster. So why don't we hop straight into creative mode? Grab me some TNT and some torch, some red some torches, and start blowing up this thing. Uh, okay, run, 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 run. Watch out, Mister Skull Um, the egg does not blow up. It just uh, makes the uh, process of it growing faster. So that's actually pretty neat. Okay, so uh, this little, little heart particles. It means it got healed. I don't know, I sped up the process, so I want to get my tip from a little mini creeper before we continue on with the rest of the review. Uh, I think we'll wait, actually. Just wait, okay. Let's get on to the rest of these mutant mobs. So I want to run over here real quick. And then we just need a god apple. Boom. So we're gonna, let's do the mutant zombie. Now, do note on that when he dies, you have to light on fire on the, if you want him to die. Now, if you were to Bring him to the ground three or to three or five times, he will die. So let's get started. Um, I'm using some pretty OP armor, that's why I'm like destroying these, destroying this guy. I'm just gonna let him be for now. Um, he does summon mob and he does that kind of attack. He's gonna die. I have a feeling he's gonna die. Nope. Uh, arrow. Okay. Um, since he's on five, he's gonna immediately go away. If you were not to light him on fire, oh, like that, see, he can back to life with 20 health. That move right there summons mobs. 
zombies everywhere from the ground. Jeez, well. Oh, ugh. come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay, then you gotta land him on fire, and he should disappear. Yes, it works. So on pond death, he drops the um, hawk camp, the uh, hammer. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's on the ground here. Um, so basically, what this does is what it does allows you to do one of the moves the uh, mutant zombie does. That's that. Uh, come on, chicken. Uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, but um, it has 64 uses, as it sees second damage. And yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's check on a little creepy dude before we continue on. I do not see him. No, he's still an egg. Um, let's get to the uh, the Enderman. Ooh, we're still in the middle of the time. Crazy. Okay, um, he's like a normal Enderman. If you look him in the eyes, he'll start attacking you. 200 HP, and he teleports around. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, um, oh, oh, I got nausea. Yeah. Guys, I am back. Um, <laughs> um, I just crashed. It's, I, I just got a crash report. Um, so let's continue on with the immune Enderman. First off, he um, can throw blocks at you, like that. Um, he can spawn purple, um, smaller versions of himself that attack you. Um, you have to pretty much kill them all. At the, um, upon death, he starts to do this. Here, oh, and it's like sucking you around. Uh, to the open hand out and start right clicking everything. Come on, click one of the uh, little bomb looking things. And did I get it? No, I did not get it. Well, if you were to click on the um, little bombs upon death, you can obtain his item. That's the sensor, my bad. The um, Ender Soul Hand. Basically, what this does is you can pick up blocks. You pick up blocks, right click it, pit on a block, and then right click it again. Yeah. Ow. Oh, okay, then um, you just go over there. This um, this does have damage. Apparently, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, this is kind of buggy at the moment. Um, that's why I crashed from. It was from. A, it's a bug. That was a bug. Um. He's working on it, uh, but it's really fun. I probably should have. It's probably because I'm recording and I'm putting too much pressure on my computer. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and try to get a little minion. Oh, is he gone? No, he's gone. Well, I can just spawn one in. <laughs> yes, you can spawn one in. He has a spawn egg for it, luckily, uh, and it's on a little tab. Creeper minion, and let's grab creeper status and. Boom. So, he's usually called a Creeper Minion, but if clicking with his status, you can change his name by right clicking on this, and I want to name him to the best name ever. Beautiful. Um, right click him with nothing, and he'll stand up. He will follow you around. See? Look at that. He's special. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this little uh, mod review. I am sorry for the lag I'm getting at this very moment. Um, and sorry for the random crash, I didn't know it could do that. Well, it is pretty much a bug at the moment. So you guys, hope you enjoyed Meat and Potato. I want to enjoy a time when he's just going to roam around. And we're going to have so many Avengers! This is going to be awesome! So you guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.